so following on from that conversation about having those challenging um, conversations with loved ones, uh, we've got a question here from someone who says they've bought uh, replacement gifts for a parent um, for items that were either broken or falling apart and they knew they still used them but um, the newer items never get used. The older items either get repaired or they just get used as is, and the new ones get kept all pristine. Do you have any suggestions for that? Yes, this uh, links again to um, that sense of our best intentions for someone else or our assumptions about what someone else might need or want and what's um, gonna be good for them. And uh, we, we do it with a great heart often as humans, but it's often not what that person wants. So again, I would invite, um, begin a conversation, something like, you know, I noticed that they gave you the um, new drill or whatever it might be for Christmas and that's still in the box or kept in that position over there and you're continuing to fix and use the old drill. And um, I'm wondering what's going on and you know, whether there's any sentimental value is what you're thinking might be whether there may be something in that connection that you haven't missed or didn't know about. So I would invite asking the person and um, help me understand uh, what it is about that for you and, uh, and giving that person an opportunity to share with you their perspective and their view on, on what's going on around that. And that could lead then to some negotiation really where whereby perhaps the new one gets returned to the store and a new uh, different gift is purchased or um, they, yeah, at a time when they, they just wait till that one is really finished and, uh, and begin to use the new one. But I think really hearing him out and, and begin to understand where he's coming from is the most important aspect of that. Lovely, thank you. You're welcome.